having a lovely day. Today I am joining you from my mom's place. I'm very excited because I haven't seen my mom in over a year since the whole coronavirus lockdown happened. I ordered Diva Curl hair products to my mom's house over a year ago, but unfortunately I missed the Amazon order and so I just figured I'd pick them up the next time that I came by. And since then, there's been this whole class action lawsuit against Diva Curl. There are tons of social media influencers and women and men who claim that Diva Curl products have caused hair damage and hair loss. Um, but I have a full bottle of the Diva Curl Super Cream here that I wanted to try for an entire year. So fingers crossed that I don't suffer any hair loss. I'm gonna risk it and use the Diva Curl Super Cream to finger coil half of my hair. And then the other side, I'm gonna use the Denman brush, but I've seen this new trend on TikTok and Instagram where curly hair girls are, they're brushing their hair with a Denman brush like, one strand is towards their face and the other strand is away. So it's like front, back, front, back. And apparently what I've seen anyway has been a, like a lot of volume and curl definition and like a really natural hair pattern versus all the curls just going in one direction. The more I talk, the more my hair is drying up. So let's get started. To start off, I am going to finger coil this half of my hair. So I've separated out a bottom section to start styling. I'm going to make sure my hair is soaking wet so that my hair can absorb the product. And then I detangle. The Diva Curl Super Cream specifically says that less is more. So I'm taking a smaller amount than what I usually would for other products. It smells pretty good. It's very light and it does feel like a really creamy moisturizing product which i love so i'm raking the super cream through my hair from root to tip to make sure that it's saturated with product and then to finger coil i'm taking a small section of my hair and starting at the bottom just circling my fingers around the hair and it creates a little ringlet so take your time with this. It does take some practice. You always have to start at the bottom of the hair or else you could get tangled. And it is time consuming. So make sure you have enough time to do it if you're choosing to finger coil your hair because girl, you're gonna be doing this for a while. So see what I mean? If you don't start at the very bottom, your hair can get twisted and tangled. So just practice and eventually you'll get the hang of it. Moving on to the side of my head that I used the Denman brush on, I'm taking a similarly sized chunk of hair and making sure again to dampen my hair with water before applying any product. Following the exact same steps, I took a similar amount of product and rake it through my hair to make sure it's evenly distributed. And then I take the Denman brush and I take a chunk of hair and I brush it to the front. And then I alternate and take another chunk of hair and brush it with the brush facing the back. And I played around with how I was holding the brush until I found a comfortable position, but it's pretty much the same. It's front and then back, front and then back. And so this technique is supposed to help with creating a natural curl pattern where the curls are going in different directions, Ow, do not get your hair tangled up. Don't take too big of a section. Be patient, take your time, and always shake out your hair after using the Denman brush because this will help separate the curls. Using the Denman brush is much quicker, I must say, which is why, spoiler alert, the Denman brush is my favorite tool and my favorite method for curly hair styling.
These are the two sides of my hair after using the finger coiling method and the Denman brush. And ta-da! These are my curls after drying. These are next day curls. I didn't apply anything else and I slept on this hair. I threw on the same top though so it looked consistent. But yeah, these are next day curls. Overall, I think both sides of my hair look gorgeous. I think the Diva Curl Super Cream did a fantastic job and the fact that it's only one product and I was able to get curl definition and avoid frizz and dryness, it's really hydrating and let's hope that my hair does not fall out. So the side with the Denman brush, I love these curls. I think that they look very natural and there's some extra volume compared to the finger coiled side. So I just find that my hair at the top has a little bit more of a, a buoyancy, a little bit more of a lift at the root, and the curl is really pretty. And when it comes to the finger coiled side, I do like it. However, I find that it is a little bit flatter, so less volume. And the curl doesn't look, I'd say, as like natural and bouncy um, as the side with the Denman brush. I have to choose a favorite side and I'm gonna go with the Denman brush alternating direction side of my hair because I do find that I have more volume on this side and I love the curls. I find that they look very natural and they're very springy and fun versus the finger coil side, it's still gorgeous, but it's just a little bit flatter. And since the curls are all going in the same direction, I, I don't find that I have as much of like a fun look, but you guys be the judge. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video.